What's going on, Meza Mob? Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 8. Today we're in a little bit of the struggle, but we're gonna make it festive. You know when you have those days when you're running low on food in your fridge, in your freezer, in your pantry? Well, today is one of those days. So we're gonna start a new segment, which is called What to Cook When You Have Nothing to Cook. I was able to find some pasta in my pantry, and when I looked in my freezer, there was two packs of chicken thighs. So we're gonna make something happen with that. And when I was looking through the cans, I found all the ingredients that I would need to make something that Puerto Ricans, well, Latinos in general, but Puerto Ricans, since I'm Puerto Rican, I can speak for them, love to drink during this time of the year, which is coquito. Now, coquito is one of those things that everybody makes differently. They have their own recipes of how they do it, but I'm gonna show you how my mom does it, which she got from my grandma, and I know it's gonna be good. The only difference from the way that they make it is, I'm gonna make mine non-alcoholic because we don't drink here but if you do decide to add alcohol to it I'll go ahead and link some options down for you below but my version is gonna be a coconut mocktail when I have days like this I like to make the struggle fun and pretend that I'm on chopped but enough chitter chatter let's go ahead and get this food cooking <laughs> My chicken's done already, it's boiled, I shred it into pieces, and now I'm gonna cook my pasta quickly. I got some rigatoni, but we are gonna make something like a big ziti because I have some pasta sauce, I found some cheese in the fridge, so we good, baby. I'm gonna give that about 13 minutes to cook, drain it, put it all together, make a good concoction, throw that in the oven, and let it do the rest of the work for me. So I have my garlic, my onion, and my tomato that I found in my fridge. I wanna add some freshness to the sauce, so let me put in my chicken. We're gonna season up the chicken before I throw in the sauce. It used to be called Mrs. Dash, but I guess now it's just Dash. Anyways, it's the garlic and herb seasoning blend. Some marat, some onion powder. I love me garlic, so I'm gonna add some more garlic powder. Mix that up. Then you're just gonna cook this up for a minute or two, and now I'm gonna add a secret ingredient. Booyah! It's bouillon! <laughs> the caldo! I'm only adding this much. It's a little more than a teaspoon, but a little less than a tablespoon. This makes everything taste better, because it just adds a little more flavor than, you know, your basic salt. Time to add the sauce. I had some prego in there, luckily. Some preguito, traditional. And add some of this. Oh, that's my oven. I'm not gonna add the whole thing. If I need to add more, I'll do that. But this is good enough for now till I add my pasta. Let that come up to a boil and then we're gonna add our pasta. All right, just threw in the pasta. I'm gonna mix this all up, see if I need some more sauce. And then I'm gonna add one more thing to it before it goes into the oven. And from the looks of it, yes, I'm gonna need some more sauce. All right, so I'm just adding the rest of this big jar of prego. Lastly, I'm just adding some chili flakes. Not too much because of Grayson, but it's just gonna give it a little kick. Mix this up one more time. Right, I'm only gonna add half of this to the pan and then I'm gonna put some cheese, put another layer of this and top it off with some more cheese. <laughs> We're gonna get started on the coquito while the baked ziti is in the oven. The first thing you're gonna wanna add is some evaporated milk. This is a 12 ounce can. You wanna throw in the entire can. Next, you're gonna add 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. So that's this entire can. 
and then you're gonna add an entire can of coconut milk this specific brand I've never used before but I'm gonna give it a try it's what I had there we bought it in the midst of the whole pandemic in the beginning that's all that they had there so I'm gonna give it a try it should be okay it's coconut milk and a 15 ounce can of cream of coconut you're gonna take about a fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla extract and lastly a tablespoon of cinnamon powder now if you were adding alcohol to this just make sure to blend these ingredients first and then throw the liquor afterwards <laughs> All right, pasta's out the oven. It looks amazing. Coquito's ready. I forgot to tell you guys, if you're not gonna make it with liquor, it's gonna be very sweet. So just add two cups of water like I did and it should balance it out a lot more, especially when you put it in the freezer because you normally would drink this cold. I'm pretty sure there's people that like it warm, but I like it very cold. And I added a pinch of nutmeg to it too, about an eighth of a teaspoon. But I'll leave all the ingredients down below for anybody who does decide to make it. If you're not sure of what coquito is, it's basically the Puerto Rican version of an eggnog. Except we don't put eggs or anything like that in it. It's just a coconut sweet drink that people normally add liquor to. And sometimes they'll make it non-alcoholic for the kids. They make it during the holiday season every single year. I mean, even J-Lo had coquito this year. Shout Tell out. Susie and everybody I'm having coquito right now. You guys call her live and like I told you guys this is just a very simple easy recipe to make some people would add more spices They would add cloves star anise people even add raisins to it You can customize it to however you like it, but this is a good base. It tastes delicious I guarantee if you try it, you're gonna like it I'm gonna go ahead and store it in some glass jars put that in the freezer and tomorrow I'm gonna take some to my father-in-law because he's Puerto Rican and he loves him some coquito non-alcoholic for him too Of course, so this is my version of non-alcoholic coquito. This is also my version of putting together whatever was left in my pantry and my fridge. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be banging. You guys know I'm about to grab Jesus in a minute, have him test it out. I wanna know something. I wanna know what you guys have for the holidays. What's your tradition like? Do you eat specific dishes? Do you have certain specialty drinks? If your family does things like that, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to read them. I would even love to try some of them. Who knows, I might end up making them here. So yeah, let's have Jesus try this out. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Tastes sweet, tastes good. Okay. You know what? When this is cold, this oh is gonna God. taste banging. Mm. This is sweet, and sweet is addictive. That water really makes a difference. Adding the two cups of water in there, it actually cuts down on the thickness and the sweetness. If you didn't add it, for me, it would just be way too sweet. I mean, mm. unless you like a lot of sugar, don't add it. But usually when you add liquor, it'll like cut down on that sweetness. But since this is a mocktail, <laughs> you have to add the water, in my opinion. No lie. If I was still drinking right now, this have a bunch of rum in it. I need to taste oh, this because that just looks so good, right? The house smells like this right now, so yeah. I was just curious to see how it tastes. Mm. It's gonna be good. That cheese, you need to have that golden layer of cheese at the top. Oh, I think if you add some more chili flakes on top, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, ooh, it's gonna tie it all together. We always have cheese here. I love cheese. I don't even have ice right now. I would just throw some ice cubes in here and finish our little salsa party. <laughs> I'm weak. Grayson's gonna love that because he loves giant pasta <laughs> mm. and cheese. That's my boy. Cause I love me some queso. Wow. Right. Huh? You wanna try some pasta? Pasta. Okay, let's try a little bit. It's not hot. It's not hot. Mm. Is it good? Does it get the thumbs up? Good job. You like it? <laughs> oh, I love you. Anyways, Mezzamob, thank you guys so much for watching. Today we're not going to be giving a specific shout out out just because we want to shout out every single small business that commented in the last video. And to all the small businesses out there, don't forget, you can go on my Instagram. You can leave your business down below because I am going to be making a part two to that video. There's just a lot more people that I wasn't able to get to in the last video. So I will be making part two to that. As for us, we're going to relax for the rest of the night, maybe throw on some Christmas movies. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Tell, tell the Mesomob. Merry Christmas, Mesomob. <laughs>